Welcome back to Arise America. Voters in eight states are headed to the polls for primary elections. According to political analysts, today is one of the most important days so far in the primary season for Democrats. And then there's California, where instead of a traditional party primary, the top two candidates of either party advance. Arise America correspondent Sherry Richardson reports on some of the races to watch. The eight states holding primary elections include California, Montana, Alabama, Iowa, Mississippi, New Jersey, New Mexico, and South Dakota. The results could have a major impact for Democrats and their chances of taking back the House this fall. Sanford Schramm is a political this, science though, professor at Hunter that, College. Uh, Part of the complexity of this, though, is that uh, in California, there are open primaries, they're nonpartisan, and uh, the top two vote getters are the ones who run against each other in the general election. And uh, it's possible with so many Democrats running uh, in California as part of this wave of people who are outraged about Trump and his policies uh, that the Democrats could split their votes and Republicans could maybe even get the top two uh, slots and no Democrat would win then in the fall for those uh, districts. One race to keep an eye on is between Republican Congressman Devin Nunes of California and Democratic challenger Andrew Jans. In a tweet, President Trump endorsed Nunes, who is at risk of losing his seat for defending Trump in the Russia investigation. There is also a record number of women running in today's primary elections. 122 women in the eight states that are having primaries today are running. It's an unprecedented number. It's part of this larger resistance that began as early as the day after the inauguration, where a lot of women are outraged by Trump's behavior and the policies that he stands for and has now enacted uh, that are very anti-women. And there are women running at all levels of government and and bringing in a lot of fresh blood, younger people, uh, people of color, Native Americans, as well as Latinos and African Americans, but also Asian Americans as well. And uh, these women could radically change Congress in particular if they get elected. Professor Schramm also says today's political climate has more neo-Nazis and white nationalists running for office. Well, these people are coming out of the woodwork. A lot of my research on the Trump coalition is showing that uh, Trump was able to speak to whites who are disaffected, that feel that maybe their uh, outgroup hostility towards Latinos and Muslims and African Americans was not being taken seriously, their anxiety about how America's changing wasn't being heard in Washington, and they, and Trump was able to appeal to these people, and now they're coming out of the woodwork and they want to follow him and some of these really extreme characters uh, who want to rid the country of Jews, who uh, believe in white supremacy, uh, who believe in some of these really outrageous ideas, are actually running for Republican nominations uh, in the primaries. Democrats need to pick up a total of 23 seats this November in order to win back the House. I'm Sherry Richardson for Arise America.